I am completely poor. And so right here, I'm going to build five different farms for these five items so I can officially become the richest hardcore player ever. And all of these materials are going to be for the first farm, which is a totem farm. So I need to build up all the way to Y level 98. Oh. Wait, I've already gone too high. And then I need to place a block on top and I need to face south and then place a bed. So now I need to transport a villager all the way over here. And so I need to build this entire roller coaster and then push my villager all the way to the totem farm. Okay, maybe I should have made these powered rails. There we go, he's officially on a bed. And so I then spent the next hour building this totem farm. I have really no idea what any of this stuff does, but I'm going to try and use it and see if it actually works. So I need to get the bad omen effect by killing one of the people with the banners. Okay, here's someone with the banner. And now, as you can see in the top right, I now have bad omen. So to use this farm, I need to do this and then quickly go up here. Okay, that's working, I'm pretty sure. And then I need to go in here so it should drop me any second. I think it's too fast. Oh, okay. I think it worked. Okay, it started the road. So now if I put on my auto clicker. Okay, it's actually working. So I've only used it for about 10 minutes. Oh my god. What? Wait, I was not expecting this many totems. I was only AFK'd here for literally about 10 minutes. And now let's build an entire storage area for all of these totems. So this is going to be the totem chest. This is going to be the emerald chest. Gunpowder. Glowstone. Sticks. Ominous banners. Spider eyes. Healing potions. Glass bottles. And saddles. So we basically have infinite of every single one of these items. And now I can just do this. And I don't even have to worry about it because I've got infinite totems. And this is definitely a good start to becoming the richest hardcore player ever. And we can now move on to the second farm of the video, which is going to be a wood farm. And luckily, I have all of the materials here. And this should be really useful because for the projects that I want to do in the future, they're going to require a lot of wood. And to be honest, I didn't even realize you could make an automatic wood farm. So this is just the frame for the build. And this is going to be the entrance. Ah, why are there so many mobs? <gasps> Oh my god. I'll fix that hole in a bit. Okay, so this is the entire frame. Oh my god. The amount of mobs here. Let me just... Oh my god, wait. No! No! No, 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 no. No! Oh my god. Why am I so bad? Okay. Um, so this is the frame. <laughs> I definitely should probably light this place up. So this is going to be the actual tree part, I'm pretty sure. And there we go. So we should have an automatic wood farm. So now I'm going to make it actually look a bit better. So let me just give these trees a bit of a trim. I can literally do that forever now because I've got so many totems. So I'm actually going to make this into like a mini tree. So now I need to build the leaves for the tree, which I feel like is definitely the hardest part. Um, <laughs> I do not want to talk about it. <laughs> okay, I definitely need to fix this. You know what? I'm just going to keep it like that and I'll change it in the future if I think I need to. But now we have a fully functioning wood farm. And don't worry, at the end of the video, I'm going to make this entire place look way better. So now we are completely invincible because we have infinite totems and we can now get to wood super easily. So now it only makes sense that the next one is a fully automatic food farm. So let me just fix this. So I'm actually going to build this automatic food farm in the nether. And if I linked the portal correctly... It should take me to the nether roof. Wait, how is there a llama here? <laughs> so let me just gather all of the materials. So first of all, you need to leave a four block gap. And then I need to build a 13 by 13 square. I've made a square. Are you guys proud of me? Now I need to replace these with the dirt. And then I need to place these mushroom looking things on each of these dirt blocks. And this will basically scare away every hoglin that spawns. So then all of the hoglins are going to funnel in down here. And then all I have to do is put lava right here. And then this can be the AFK spot. And as you can see, there are hoglins there and they're getting scared of the mushrooms. So then they fall to their doom. So I'm going to AFK up here for probably about 10 minutes and see how much food we get. Okay, it has officially been 10 minutes. Oh my god that is a very good amount i'm just gonna take a stack so now i'm gonna fly back to the portal and i think my plan for this one is i'm just gonna make a pig face because obviously we're eating pork 
So we now have infinite totems, infinite wood, and infinite food. And another very important building block is actually wool. So I'm going to be making an entire wool farm. And then this is where all of the sheeps are going to be trapped. Okay, so I have to dig down. But as you can see, underneath this is completely ocean. But I should still be able to make it work. And then this is going to be where we collect every single piece of wool. And now I need to drain out this entire area. Okay, so now we've done that, we can place these. But now we need to actually get the sheep inside these holes. But if I fly all the way to the Warden City that I built in the last video, which you should definitely watch after this one. So this is the Warden City. But if I go in here, there should be some leads. Yeah. Now all I need to do is actually find a sheep. What? There's a skeleton horse? Where did you guys come from? Okay, well, I definitely do not need them. <gasps> Okay, there's a brown sheep. So if I lead it up... Okay, I feel like this is not actually going to work. But if I fly... Okay, I just murdered a sheep. I didn't mean to murder you, I'm sorry. And so after murdering an innocent brown sheep, I finally found some more sheep that were closer to the build, and I transported them all the way to the wool farm. And while I'm bringing these sheep to their doom, maybe think about subscribing. We're almost finished with this farm, and I put so much work into these videos. And so please make sure you're subscribed to become a part of the before 200k club. And now I'm just going to go and quickly get two more sheep. Okay, well, oh my god, that's so annoying. Why don't creepers just like get removed from the game? Like, no one actually likes them. So now I'm gonna build a head for the sheep. Okay, I think that looks alright. So I don't think this is gonna produce much wool, but it should over time just stack up, and then whenever I need wool, I can just take it from here. Oh my god. There are literally creepers everywhere. <laughs> Look at these creepers. Oh, no, please. Okay, I'm gonna finally light this place up. Oh my god, where did these creepers even come from? Okay, luckily, I don't think it broke anything here. Oh my god. I think I'm actually gonna have a mental breakdown. So now we only have one more to go. And this is probably gonna be one of the most important farms. And it has just started raining. So I've already actually made the farm in the last video, and it was the concrete farm. And this is going to be where I store every single color of concrete, because as you've probably noticed, I do use a lot of it in the builds that I do. So first of all, I'm going to get about three stacks of every single color of concrete, and I'm just going to spend the next... Whoa. Huh? So this was meant to be a concrete duper, but for some reason, my friend was trying to duplicate a dragon egg, and while doing so, he completely broke it. Please roast my friends in the comments. And so I fixed it and duplicated every single color of concrete, and I'm going to make a square in this section using every single color of concrete. Okay, this is the multicolored blob that's going to be keeping all of these different colors of concrete. And now it's time for the most satisfying part of this build. Now I'm just going to fill in the top. There we go. Now I just need to move in all of the concrete. Actually, I completely forgot about the floor. And sorting all of the chests is probably going to be a bit boring, so there we go. That's every single colour of concrete sorted. So we've now got five farms that is going to help me with this hardcore world so much. And it's definitely going to help me with future projects. And so now we need to just make this entire place look a lot better, because right now it looks like a construction site. So I'm going to start by removing all of this construction tape. Okay, I'm gonna make a cool kind of like wall design and put it all around the farm. I think something like that would look pretty good. So I'm gonna do this design around the entire island. Okay, so this wall is looking pretty good. I think I'm quite happy with it. So I think in the middle, I'm gonna have some sort of like pattern. Then maybe if I do the rest as stone bricks, um, that doesn't look very good. Maybe if I change that to wood. And now I'm just gonna make a simple pathway to each of these different farms. And so while I finish the entire project, if you guys do wanna see the future hardcore videos, make sure to subscribe. But while you wait for the next episode to come out, maybe think about watching the last episode where I built an entire city for my pet warden. It was very insane.